Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Marcus. Uh, I'm Ryan. And together, we, we are, are the Northwest Sports Fanatics. Fanatics. Back at you with a new video. Breaking news. Des Bryant is no longer a Dallas Cowboy. Hey, man, that's that's kind of sad news, man, for, for all the Cowboy fans out there. I'm not sure what y'all think, but me as a Redskin fan growing up and, and being able to watch Des these last eight years he's been in the league, man, it, I kind of want Dez to stay with the Cowboys, man. It's going to be weird seeing Dez in a different uniform. Right. So we are going to go over his best plays in 2017-18 season, yep. best fits for teams that he can go to, and just kind of some stats and breakdown with the money. He was set to make $12.5 million. I think a lot of NFL fans thought – this was his last run with the Cowboys right. if he wasn't willing to negotiate uh, 16.5 million against the cap. But before we get into more of that news and before we get into the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up on this video for your boy. And hey, let's get into this montage and we'll get into deeper thoughts and obviously stats of Des Bryant. Yeah, shout out to 214 Dallas Cowboys for the highlight package, man. Make sure y'all go sub to his channel. Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. All right, so let's check out these Dez Bryant's highlights, man. All right, let's get right into it, man. Dez, okay. throw up the X. Man. Kind of an end of an era. He mad, too. Oh, he's hella mad. All right, Dez Bryant. Take a look at his stats from last year. All right. 69, 838, 6 TD. Not, not, I mean, not, not bad. bad you but know? not for 16 mil. No. That's like third option receiver money and stats. Um, that's not bad stats right there, though. All right. See Dak and A little Dez. slow motion action. That's what he do right there. He catch them slants and his bye-bye. Right. Oh, break that tackle. He's too big. Ooh, okay. But okay. his knock is that he doesn't have a really good route tree. Right. Right? And his hands have gotten progressively worse See, in the last few seasons. And he's got the injury bug the last couple years, too, unfortunately. Right. All right, red zone. Oh, there you go. That's where that's where he's best at. All right, that's a dead zone. In that red zone. Throw up the X. Oh, that's against Talib, too. Look, oh, excuse me. He's like, get off me. The little back shoulder, too small. I remember this play right here. Okay. Oh, Woo! Skirt, skirt, skirt. <laughs> Let's go. Fight. Look at One, that. two, three, four, five guys on his back. Yeah. Let's go. On all eight of them. Right. Go get it, then, Dez. That's what he do right there. Yeah. He's one of the best one-on-one 50-50 -on -one ball receivers that we've seen in the NFL. Father time is undefeated, though. Oh, yeah. So the speed is definitely not where it used to be for Dez, unfortunately. Right. Oh, scramble then. Show him how you do it. Okay, Dez. There you go. Way to make yourself available. First down, Cowboys. Move them chains. Oh, that was nice right there. Yeah. A little stretched out. This is what I love right here, though. Okay, Dez. Anytime Dez is inside the 10, you know what it is. It's a yeah. fade. And you can't stop it. Good ball placement right there. Great yeah. effort. Yeah, good pass by that. There it is, that back shoulder. That's what he do best. And then he carried 23 for about 20 yards. Yeah. Oh, good double pump. Oh, get, get up and get it then. Oh, what, what's that? A toe drag? Yeah, toe drag swag. Oh, they going against the skins, huh, Dez? Uh-oh. Oh, he got him beat. Good pass. Uh. Okay. Okay, nice little route. A little in, inside route. Let me see some, Dez. Ooh. Ooh. Nice strong throw right there by Dak. I didn't come back for that ball. It looked like Peters was going to pick that. Right. That's what he do right there. Right. No 50-50 balls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. He did skirt. Yeah, two skins on him. He still got the ball. <laughs> All right, grab it then. There you go. There Look, you go. Make one man miss. All right, Dez. Stop showing any of your skins highlights. Ooh! Ooh. Hey, Breland. I love you, my guy, but. That's a replay. That's a, that's a Dez right Ooh. there. 
Ooh, that's classic Dez. Let's go. I had to throw up the X on that one. Yeah. That was nasty. That's what we know him for right there. There you go. He's too big. Look at those yak yards. See how the corner just got just flailed off of him? Yeah. He's too big. It just sucks oh. seeing these athletes that were top five in their position right. start to kind of slowly have father time kind of catch up to them. Like you said, man, father time is undefeated. Yeah. But I still think Dez is pretty good, man. Look at that. Yeah, I still think he's pretty good, too. Nice, nice little hook route. He's no longer a number one option, but he could definitely help a team. Go get it, Dez. Woo. It's that 50-50 ball. Yeah. Oh, way to spin out of trouble right there, Dak. Yeah. Oh, didn't throw it up. There's a go get it. Ooh, okay. All right. Not bad, a little compilation there. Yes, 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 sir. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty, some of the statistics for Des Bryant. Uh, he turns 30 in November. So obviously the money, he, you know, it was $12.5 million he was due. Right. In his mind, he was probably thinking he's worth 10 to 12, you know, but – Realistically, what are teams willing to pay a receiver of his caliber with kind of father time setting in? Maybe realistically more six to nine million. Zero 100 yard games last season. Wow. Zero. That's very unheard of. Undes like. From De for Dez Bryant. Right. Oh, that's crazy. You know, um, and he, in his last three years, uh, he hasn't had over 900 yards receiving. What? Yeah, that, that's crazy too. Really? I seen that stat. I was like, man, that's, that's nuts. But you got to think. 2015 year, he signed the the, the five years, uh, seventy million right. dollar deal. The big deal. Yeah, and then that year he hurt, he got hurt. And the following year, and then 2016 he got hurt, hurt again. again. Yeah, yeah. So a little unlucky there. So number one in Dallas Cowboy team record, 73 TDs. So I know Michael Irvin is definitely saluting him for that. 531 catches, 7,459 yards in oh, 113 wow. games. But they brought in Alan Hearns in free agency from uh -huh. the Jags. Deontay Thompson from the Bills, okay. who we like as well, right? In the draft, they've worked out and had visits from Calvin Ridley, Alabama's stud, stud wide receiver. Yeah, right? They're say. looking at wide receiver. Uh, DJ Moore, which we both like from where? Yeah, is from Maryland. Maryland, right? The DMV know. area. Yes, and then Oklahoma State's very own James Washington. I like James Washington. So, I think he's kind of uh, underrated as far as the receivers in his draft. He don't get as much due as I think he should. Right. And so we got teams here. It looks like we have about 13 of them that have some kind of interest right. or we think would be good fits. And comment below once we go over these, which one you think that would he in – Des Bryant's status right, right now as maybe a third option wide receiver well, would fit the best. Well, right now, Des says it's personal. He's all on Twitter. He, he's upset. He, he got let go. He, he thinks he still has a, a lot left in the tank. Right. Um, and, and the rumor has it when he left out of the, the Cowboys facility. What'd he say? He said, I'll see you guys twice this year. Uh-oh. So that leaves three teams in the so, NFC East that maybe he's won. Know. So that says Eagles. Redskins, well, Eagles, Eagles, Giants. I don't think Eagles got that much cap space left. Right, Giants and don't either. And they picked up Mike think. Wallace, so right. I, I don't know. And the Giants, I, they don't have as much cap space as well. Right. So, but you you never know what teams are willing to work out some a little couple of restructures of some some right. people's deals and. They could have Des Bryant, right? But and you said Redskins, obviously man. being a fan, they have money. So the Redskins is the most logical choice out of the NFC East teams. Out of the three, they got about seventeen milli left. Yeah, we got seventeen right? milli. So it, and Josh Norman was kind of being friendly with them earlier in the week. That was kind of weird. That man. was weird. Why was Personally, that, for Josh? you, not speaking for all Redskin fans, be honest. Do you want Des Bryant on the Redskins for you as a fan, or do you want to have me, him just go me, somewhere else? Me personally. Uh, this is it's a tough decision because we have Josh Dotson there and he's supposed to be being groomed into our number one receiver. Paul Richardson. We we picked up Paul Richardson. He's our speed guy, but the number one possession receiver going into next year is supposed to be Dotson. Right. He's supposed to be be able to make that next leap to solidify himself as the number one receiver on the Redskins. Right. I don't wanna hurt his progression yeah. by throwing Dez out. Because if you throw Dez out, then that means... Less opportunities for the young guys to get on the come up. But who's the... If, if you throw, if you sign Dez, you, you're getting Dez to be your number one. Right? 
Dez is not going to go nowhere and not start. Right, right, exactly. Right? right. So that would mean Dez on one side, P. Rich on the other, Crowder still in the slot, but then that moves uh, but then Dotson, Dotson though. back down to fourth See, receiver, and that's messing up his progression. Right, man. so I think that you guys have the money, but I don't necessarily think it's a fit. Besides the rivalry right. standpoint, getting to get back at his old team twice a year. But let's go over these teams that are maybe better fits. But Redskins have the money, so it's logical, right? right? So I could kind of picture him. he wants him. to put it to him twice a year. Yeah, right. And then, obviously, the San Francisco 49ers. That would be a nice uh, that'd be a nice fit. That would be a nice fit. Jimmy G, the Garoppolo Garcon, effect. Garcon, Garoppolo. Right. And maybe if uh, Saquon Barkley slides in the draft to nine, right. they'll have a weapon that they can throw the ball and screen passes as well. Yep. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. Russell Wilson needs help man, P, desperately. P. Rich left, man. And right? I, I know Doug Baldwin wouldn't mind getting him a little help in that receiving core. Right. Baltimore Ravens, right? You got Joe Flacco, right? And your boy RG3, right? So they got some, you know, pieces there. They need some help. Maybe, maybe he can be uh, Flacco's Anquan Bolden. Remember there, when there Anquan Bolden went there right? towards the end of his career? Right. Uh, who else we got? The Texans? Deshaun Watson, right? After his injury, he's right. going to need some help out there. I, I think that would be, you know, you got Hopkins, you got Fuller, who is still blossoming in, into right. their number two receiver. Throw Dez in that. That's a nice collection of receivers. Right. The Cardinals, I assume that they're going to try to get a quarterback in this draft and right. trade up. So maybe they get Baker Mayfield in the draft or someone and they trade up. They're going to need help. They, Larry Fitz ain't getting any younger. Yeah, they, they, Larry Fitz ain't getting younger. They, they picked up Bradford, right? Yeah. Yeah, Bradford needs another weapon. One year deal. Out there. Right. So he needs some help. The Jags. Blake Bortles, you know, they mm. need some wide receiver help. Obviously, right. with Hearns going to the Cowboys, yep. you know, Dez could go there. Hearns and, gone, Robinson left. so And the defense is stacked, right? So that would make sense. Uh, what about what about the Giants? I know they don't have money, right. but obviously with Odell Beckham on one side, Dez on the other. They got Shepard. Another, and, Shepard in the slot. Right? I think they still got Brandon Marshall. I'm not sure if they're bringing him back, though, yet. Right, but the team that needs the most help, in my eyes, really besides the Seahawks, who needs wide receivers? Come on, Sport Fanatics. You know who it is. The Panthers. Right. The Panthers need wide receivers. That will give you two great personalities on that Panthers offense to right. work with. Right. I mean, Christian McCaffrey was an excellent draft pick. Yep. Right. But you need wide receivers. I mean, go down the wide receiving depth. Can you name their wide receiving core? Not many people can. I pride myself on knowing just about uh, 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 80% of NFL right. rosters. They need help. I, I, you know, after punches, I get. <laughs> right. I mean, you're like, who? who I mean, McCaffrey's going to get some looks, All but right. they need help. So obviously, Funches needs a, a right hand man, a Batman to his Robin. Yep. Um, the Pats? Tom Brady? You, you he, never count anything out with the Pats. Right? Man. I mean, they anything is possible. I mean, we don't know if they're trading up, you know, for a quarterback of the future. Well, I've seen them take on Randy Moss and Ocho Cinco, so Chad Johnson, so that, that could definitely be a possibility. Right. Um, what about the Saints? We know they're going to go for tight end in the first round. Right. There's three really good tight ends. They wanted Jimmy Graham. It's not going to happen. He went to the Packers. What about Des Bryant on the Saints? I mean, the Saints have one of the kind of the – Malcolm Thomas. Man, man I mean – Kamar. I think he would be a, Kamara, a good – sorry. Right. Area 41. The right? alien. Drew Brees. You know, that would be a, a nice little fit. You know, it Sean could Payton, a great offensive mind. He'll find ways to get him And where did Sean ball. Payton come from? Dallas. So a little familiarity there with Des – could maybe be a possibility. Yep. Uh, what about A-Rod? The, the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, right? They got Jimmy Graham there. They need wide receiving help. Yeah, they Jordy's, lost Jordy. Jordy's on the Raiders now. Yep. So there could be some room there. And then the last team I can think of who's going to trade up more than likely for a quarterback, maybe with Denver at five, the Buffalo Bills. You don't have Tyrod Taylor anymore. Nope. Deontay Thompson went to the Cowboys. What and about Zay you? Jones is in a little, little Zay, trouble right, there. He, went, he got crazy, went naked yeah. and stuff and did some crazy things, right? Yep. So the Bills could be a fit. But I think overall, I mean, glaring to me, I mean, Redskins, I know you're not really too sure if you want them, but the Niners, <laughs> the Seahawks, and the Panthers, I think those three make the most sense if you can figure out money, right. you know, and it doesn't hurt the cap. Because a lot of dead money, obviously, they're talking about in Dallas with Romo's contract and with Yo, – they still cashing the, Romo out? I think the dead money is like $16.9 million between Romo and Dez. That's a lot of dead money. Let's, let, 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 me, let me clear something up. All right. I'm not saying I don't. I wouldn't mind having Des Bryant on the risk. I mean, of course, okay. who, who wouldn't? Right. But the key thing is, is that I don't want it to stunt Josh Dotson's growth. Right. And also, how much money are we talking about here? True. I'm not giving you 12 mil for 800 yards, man. Right. Especially, <laughs> especially at the end of the season, what is your stats going to look like? Are you going right. to be third best on whatever team you go to? You know what I mean? Because I think if you're going to pay him the money, you expect him to be at right. least – 
top two. If he's not the best wide receiver on your team, he's got to be at least that at second least the best complimentary you know, to whoever you have as a superstar on the other side. But then when you think about it, who's the last two big superstars to get released around this time? One was Deshaun Jackson. A right. couple years ago, the Eagles released him. Right. What happened? Right. Redskins scooped him up. And right. then the other was Josh, Josh Norman. Norman. Right. So Redskins. Um, we'll, be. we'll see, man. We'll see. I'm not totally against it. I just don't want to stunt Josh Dawson's growth. Right. Man, I think most Redskins fans, just with the rivalry, maybe you respect Des. Right. But I'm, I can't speak for all Redskins fans, but I think most of them are probably saying, you know, they'll take a pass. They'll let him go somewhere else, yep. you know, maybe find a better fit. So Redskins, Niners, Seahawks, Texans, Cardinals, Jags, Pats, Panthers, Saints, Ravens, Packers, Bills, Giants, and there's a few more. But those are probably the top 13 that we think – you know, out of the, you know, 32 teams right. that could be a good fit. I mean, if you had one team that you could pin one it down to, one or two, who would you that say? I would, one team that I want him to go to, Yeah, I want him to go to Seahawks. Seahawks? Yeah, give, give Russell somebody to, to work with out there. Also, take a little pressure off of Doug Baldwin as well. You lost Jimmy Graham. You lost P. Rich. So, right. what you got to work with out there for Russell, man? Get that man another weapon. And they're rebuilding, so you give him some star power with that name power. Right. You know, obviously with Dez and Russell Wilson. That makes sense. Jimmy G and him, Niners. But then I think the Panthers and the Seahawks, to me, That's a good they make too. the most sense because the Panthers need all the help that they can right. get, you know, on both sides. Cam Newton. I mean, he's due for a big year this year. Yep. You know what I mean? He's been kind of up and down, so we'll have to wait and see. So comment below who you think Des Bryant's best fit is out of all the teams in the NFL that we mentioned. All right, so there you guys have it. Breaking news, the Dallas Cowboys release Des Bryant. Crazy. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up on this video for your boy. And have a great weekend. We'll be right back at you with some more videos starting Monday. All right, I'm Marcus. This is my guy, Ryan. Only got one question for you. Who you know talks sports like us? Northwest Sports Fanatics. Des Bryant. For Woo! you, Des. Man, crazy. I love Des, man. He He'll was... find a good home. Oh, you know he will. Yeah, he, he will.